Yolenda Jawe, a.k.a. Yol's Channel. So she's a wife, a mom, lifestyle YouTuber, and founder of Yol's Beauty, South Africa's first black-owned sheet mask brand. Doing great things there, madam. Doing great things. No wonder why your skin has such a lack of pop. Thank you so much. Good morning. Welcome. So we're talking about why we had kids. Why did you choose to have kids? Personal question, but yeah. You know what? Fez wasn't planned, to be no. honest, but don't tell him that. <laughs> but going in... <laughs> do not tell him that. <laughs> going into marriage, it was one of my husband's deal breakers. He's mm. broken up with a girlfriend before, just hearing no, uh, no, kids. no kids. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I suppose have, you have to have your non-negotiables oh, through life. Top. It was yeah. one of his mm. top. Yeah. yeah. He's always wanted kids. He's very big on family. Did you so. always want kids? Yeah, but it wasn't like an immediate thing. It was also not a deal breaker. Yeah. 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 When did you have kids in your marriage? Like soon after marriage? Yeah, like five months after we got he, married? He didn't we waste were pregnant. time, is it? No. No, no wow, look at that. Happy. No time to <laughs> hey. enjoy one another. <laughs> I wanted to enjoy us. And then boom, surprise. But we weren't also taking any precautions. So. Oh, well, there ah, we go. I mean, there, I mean, ah, there we go. On. Yeah. Off the cliff. <laughs> Rolling. We jumped. <laughs> the rolling stones. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to 959 Breakfast. So, uh, Y'all's channel, let's talk about that a little bit. What inspired mm. Y'all's channel? So, Y'all's was working at the bank, studying yeah. finance and investment, and I really felt boxed. Mm. There's nothing worse than being told what to do and to have to do what you have to do every single day for yeah. the rest of your life yeah. if you're creative. So, I picked up the camera and I was like, you know what, on weekends, I'm going to channel all this energy mm -hmm. and start uh, my channel. And that's mm -hmm. literally how it started. And what's it about your channel? Motivation, lifestyle, getting into the front seat of your life and driving it towards your purpose. Oh, I like that. Getting into the front seat of your life. Yes. That's so nice. I'm That's what I was that. doing. Yeah, I, I was that. literally doing mm -hmm. just that. I, I just wanted to have some level of control mm -hmm. and really drive myself towards the destiny that I'm meant to be because it really felt like if I needed any more signs or a loud voice saying, you're not supposed to be where you are. Mm. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been running it for now? Five years. Four, five years, no, yeah. five years. Five uh, years. Four years full time. Yeah. Um, a year in the natural hair space blew up because I cut my hair. Yeah. And my channel wasn't about hair. And it was literally at the peak of where South African Naturals was starting to sort of pick up. There was a lot of new... So did you cut your hair on the YouTube channel? I literally said that's what I did. Nope, I didn't do it on the channel. Mm -hmm. But I said I went to this camp, cut my hair, and here I am. And that video blew up. Started with the brand deals immediately. I probably had under a thousand subscribers. So yeah. my story is very different to how people start. You know, they kind of build it up. Yeah. I was caught in the moment. I was like, oh, yeah, oh, you oh, were, that, you went like, oh. boom. This is what happens. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you monetize. I monetized right after, probably after five or six hundred uh, subscribers. At the time, you didn't need a thousand subscribers. Mm, yeah. You needed views. You needed to reach True that story. cap of like over a thousand rand uh, in your AdSense account. Yeah. And that was it. That's all I needed. I literally needed the minimum at the time. There are so many people with like, I mean, it's so easy to create a YouTube channel. All you need is an email address, right? Mm -hmm. But to sustain it, it's not easy. And you've got 89,000 followers or subscribers rather, and mm -hmm. that's no easy feat. What would you say is the tool or the secret rather to just getting to those kind of numbers? Well, they always say consistency, mm. but consistency with frequency as well as like a, a book with ideas because you do run out of ideas. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need that book where you reach out and you're like, I don't really want to do this video, but it's going to make the views because mm. the previous video I did on this actually got the views, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. an update helps. So you did a hair review on this product. Now it doesn't work. Do a video on that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. love something now and you hate it. Your opinion changes. Be willing to change, essentially. Well, four or five years ago, um, it wasn't as saturated as it is now on YouTube. Are you feeling the pressure of the competition all around you? Not at all. No, I'm so glad that it's becoming, I wouldn't even call it saturated yet. Mm -hmm. It's becoming like a, a, like a normal thing now. I can pick up the camera and vlog in a mall. Mm -hmm. Back mm -hmm. then, it was like security guards, everyone's on you. What yeah. are you doing, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm more inspired by how the younger people are keeping us fresh. Yeah. I watch their content. I consume what it is. How are the they younger do. people? How old are you? I'm 31. Hey, but you're a younger person. 
Uh, are the younger people no, which younger people? Like, oh, there's twenty year olds 20 on YouTube years. now. There's yeah, twenty one, okay. twenty two year olds. I must yeah. be superbly old. Okay. No, no, I, I definitely <laughs> feel old. They make me feel old because we oh, were really? like the young ones. Yeah, yeah. the things that they yeah. do, the things they consume. Oh, you know, I it's, suppose, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite true. strange. It's like TikTok. Yeah, that's I feel true. too old for TikTok. That's true. You can't ignore the digital space. You really nope. can't. Whether you, I mean, look, it's. I find it to be so hectically heavy duty like the commitment to be on the digital platforms there's a lot of work Precisely. but if you get it right it you, seems like it's a lack of space to be it in it is and a lucrative yeah. one oh well there we go they're all very lucrative Ooh. there we go we're going to talk about that <laughs> we're going to talk about that Kaching. here we are we are hanging out with y'alls 22 after 7 madam you were saying it's lucrative mm-hmm mm. Talk to us about that. <laughs> Which mm. part? The lucrative part, all so, of it. So on YouTube, I started making money before AdSense. Obviously, I, I kind of low-key blew up w- uh, through natural hair. Yeah. And right after that, I got a brand deal for about whew, a year first. And then mm-hmm. they renewed the following year. Whoa. So I was making money out of that. But mm-hmm. I was creating content on their YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. they asked for a rate card for my Instagram. I started working uh, and earning money on Instagram with less than a thousand again yeah. uh, followers too yeah. thereafter I was already earning AdSense now starting to build up that little you know AdSense account and then it starts paying out you get your first check then you get more um, sponsored and brand uh, mm-hmm. people approaching you and saying well can we actually uh, have a mention what's mm-hmm. a one minute mention what does it cost on your channel mm-hmm. there you do a little shout out and say oh today I'm actually I did my braids at Mang Mang Salon and uh, at times wow. that doesn't pay sometimes they do it for free sometimes they pay you uh-huh. um, especially if it's a big brand like Darling if these were Darling braids they would pay me for this uh-huh. and pay the stylist uh-huh. and then pay for the little one minute mention on uh-huh. my channel and then you also charge for the full um, talking about your duk for instance uh-huh. on your channel uh-huh. or how I'm doing my hair using XY products, for instance. As is it they, that easy or is it like hard work to try and attract them and open up their pockets to spend? See, the hard part for me to say it's hard when I started without actually approaching any brands is a little bit contradicting because mm. I didn't know about a rate card. I didn't know I could mm. earn so quickly in early in the game. Mm. But to keep the momentum, that's hard. The sustainability part needs you imagine, to yeah. work. That needs you to constantly, you know, keep yourself relevant. So how do you um, get to a figure? Do you, is there, because I know like with social media, people like to take their following and divide the number of their following. So with your subscribers, 89,000, how do you get to a figure to say, this is how much I'm charging for a power spot, meaning talking about your product? So initially I got the formula. That was the the first time I had to draw up my rate card and give it to a brand. I was given that formula and I couldn't work with it. So I basically charged per hour. I said, okay, how much is my labor? If I was working, what would I want to earn? Literally, how long would it take me to shoot this video? If it's two hours, for instance, doing hair takes long. If I'm filming a whole wash day, if it takes me two hours, I'm not charging 500 rand per hour. I'm going to charge a thousand rand per hour for that. And then how long does it take me? I'm doing my own makeup. What would it cost for me to charge, to to pay a makeup artist if they were doing my makeup? And then somebody behind the camera, a videographer. And that's how I built my first few figures. Got the labor out the way and then said, now my value So over time, I'm growing from 5,000 to 10,000 and I'm adding a 20% increase at a time. Mm -hmm. Like a business, you know, hey guys, we've got annual increases means it's by the following. If we double, we've got to increase it by at least 20%. And that's how I charge. Wow, so screw the formula. Yeah, makes sense. Screw the formula. And by the time I was at 20,000, I know a lot of my peers were saying I am actually overcharging. But I was very niched and there were very few of us Mm. giving advice, free advice to a lot of brands who were transitioning from Caucasian hair to natural hair. Mm. So I was an expert in my field. Mm. So I Mm. really felt Mm. as though at 20,000, if I charge 6,000 Rand for a picture and 10,000 Rand for a video, that is value for a brand. Who makes the rules of what the standard rates are? Who's to say you're (laughs) overcharging? Exactly. Our peers, and also there were things like uh, platforms like Webfluentials, which had rates. I remember Webfluential. Yeah, yeah. so they yeah. would give you a gauge, but I never went on that because I was so niched and it was very new at the time. And then looking at my American peers, they were making a lot of money. I researched mm. what they were mm. making. I was like, well, I'm not that, but in South Africa, if I'm top five of the natural hair gurus, I need to be charging like the top five. Yeah, yeah. You have your own products now. 
I've got my own skincare yeah, brand. I was yeah. tired of wow. using Korean skincare during lockdown, as well as but Western you've got skincare. To give credit to those Koreans. They're great. They know oh, what they're doing with skincare. Them. Still oh credit my them. goodness, yeah, their products yeah. are dope. Yeah, but I want an African African ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's it? Uh, what's the magic in your product? So we use avocado. We use ingredients like aloo. Things mm. that are grown here and we know work for our African skin. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then pomegranate as well, which again mm-hmm. in the Eastern Cape, there's so much of that. Yeah, yeah. It really works for our skin and mm. it helps brighten our skin mm. especially for us who really suffer from hyperpigmentation yes, so yes, yes. their focus is glow our mm. focus should be working with what our skin really has in terms of problems and issues and, and how's that's business what I wanted doing? to really good mm. I'm very very blessed to have started the, the business off the back of YouTube in 2020 we broke even within the first week wow um, so first, whoa yeah the first wow. week we, we launched it the, the 31st of July and by and which year was this 2020 2020 literally mm-hmm. in the pandemic but everyone is at home everyone mm. needed that little um, escape at home so you're in your bathroom and you're like what am I gonna do let mm. me just run away from the mm kids for a bit mm. in me sheet mask and we did them here in South Africa so everyone was also proud to actually be holding something firstly of someone that I watch I've been mm. buying her the products she was suggesting why not buy her products yeah, yeah, I trust yeah, yeah. her opinion already yeah. now let me actually hold something she's made I think it's quite inspirational it really really is mm. Mm. what's the name of the brand where can people get it Y'all's Beauty it is literally yallsbeauty.co.za that's where online yallsbeauty.co.za mm. this is Y. O L Z right? Y O L Z Beauty dot C O dot today. Very inspirational what you can do when you're under pressure by yourself to come out of your own uncomfortable comfort zone. Absolutely. To get uncomfortable mm. in a different space and in a different zone, chasing what it is that you're passionate about. Oh, that's Yol's. She's a YouTuber, Yol's channel, uh, uh, with an audience of uh, over 230k across the across social media the board, pl- yeah. platforms. I hope you are inspired by what you've heard, that if you're feeling stuck, unstuck yourself mm-hmm. and chase your dreams. You said get into the driver's seat of your life. Mm, get into the front seat of your life. Get into the and front drive. seat of yeah. your life. Driving drive. yourself to your purpose. Hey, there we go. 28 minutes after 7. Thank you very much for starting your day on 959. Thank you for having me.